Good morning, Calvary. In our study of the book of Proverbs, we've already learned that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And in today's verses, that theme is repeated again. So let's take a look at Proverbs 14, verses 26 through 27. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence and his children will have a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life that one may turn away from the snares of death. When it comes to understanding the fear of the Lord, I think C.S. Lewis helps us in his book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. In it, young Lucy is having a conversation with Mr. Beaver about the king, Aslan. Mr. Beaver says, Aslan is a lion, the lion, the great lion. Oh, said Susan, I thought he was a man. Is he quite safe? I shall feel rather nervous about meeting a lion. Safe, said Mr. Beaver. Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. Aslan shows us some of the ways that God is like. Because of his great holiness and his power, God isn't really safe, but he is infinitely good. So we have confidence that his power, his judgment, and his holiness is always matched with perfect goodness. Therefore, we should reverence, honor, and fear the Lord. You know, I see two sides to this proverb. First, there is the practical side. If we fear God, we are going to live in a way that honors him and he will bless our lives. Put another way, honoring God will change the way we live and will lead to living in a way of blessing and safety. We can have confidence that God is for us and is protecting us and that blessing trickles down even to our very own children. By honoring God, we avoid all kinds of natural consequences that sin and rebellion would have brought into our life. The other side of this proverb is the spiritual side. Jesus said something like this proverb to the woman at the well in John chapter four. Jesus said, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I give will, give, will become in him a spring of living water welling up to eternal life. Jesus gives the eternal fountain of life. He saves his people from eternal death. And of course, this is good news. In an ultimate sense, the fear of the Lord can be considered putting our faith in Jesus. Think about the awesomeness of the power, the love, the judgment, the punishment, and the goodness that's all found in the crucifixion of Jesus for our sins. The cross shows us that God isn't really safe, but he is eternally good. And that should drive us to fear the Lord, but also to cling to him in joy for the goodness of salvation that he offers through faith in Jesus. Let me encourage you today to renew a healthy fear of God. Place your confidence completely in him. He loved you and delivered himself up for you. It will bring a blessing for this life and the life to come. Well, have a wonderful weekend. I hope that we'll see you at our worship services, either at Havasu, Parker, or online. Have a great day.